Welcome back to Unraveled Game Thoughts, and today I will do my first board game rating using what I hope will be my final and completed matrix. If you're interested in seeing the matrix, it's on my Patreon site, and if you go there, there should be a link to the matrix if you just want to know how I have put together everything, but I'm not going to go into detail about all of these descriptions. You'll, you can watch this one and kind of see what I do for Brass Birmingham. Uh, most likely my photo is covering up the title, but we're going to go through here and rate Brass Birmingham along each of these uh, categories, and we will see how it rates my thought uh, and the reason I chose Brass first is because Brass is one of my top games. It might even be my favorite game in my collection. And it's uh, it's just, an, I know that it should, for me, come out with a pretty high score. And I think uh, a lot of people would rate it very highly who have played it. So we'll see where this goes. So starting with Aesthetics. Um, art, visual, uh, how does it look? That is a tough one. Brass has good art, but it's not eye-popping, but it is good. Um, I really like the art on the boards. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to have to give it three quarter points uh, just because it's pretty good, but I think there are other games that have more eye-popping, vibrant art. Um, and that doesn't mean that it can't be dark, because I think Scythe is darker than Brass, but I would give Scythe full points for its art. Um, so as I do this rating, I might sort of compare to other games that I have or have played and yeah, use that a little bit as um, helping me decide which category to go to put it in. So components of brass. Um, I have the addition that came with the iron clays, which are very good. Um, the cubes are good. Uh, do I give it full points for components? Because I've thought about upgrading the cubes. And the tiles are nice. It's pretty high quality components. They're not bad. I am working on 3D printing a set of trains and boats for each person, but that's that's like a high upgrade. I think for components, I got to give full for components. Um, there's nothing that b has to be better, and I would have no problem playing the game as it is with the components it has. So I'll go ahead and give full. I think there are games that have better components, but I don't know that I can ding it for components uh, uh, right out. Uh, the box, I do have to give it three-quarter point for box because with the iron clays in there, the box doesn't f shut. Uh, it's not as easy to shut. I had to work to get it um, all in there. Actually, it does look like it's shut all the way. Huh. Well, maybe it does shut all the way. I was thinking the box stayed open a little bit, but I think I'm wrong about that. I'm looking at it on my shelf, and I think it's fine. So we'll go uh, full components on the box. And with these ratings, these are just dry ratings. I'm not planning to put a whole lot of pictures up or anything like that. Um, we'll, uh, yeah, this is, this is for the person who enjoys rating games. <laughs> Uh, for the art design, how the board is laid out, does it make sense? Uh, you know, does it help you play it? Uh, does it make the game easier to jump into and understand? Oh man, brass is tough. Um, I think everything's there that you need. The arrows and everything. I don't know that it's super... I wouldn't call it intuitive, but it's uh, it's 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 it, once you know the game, it makes it easier to keep up with the game. Um, and there's no bonus stuff with the game. This is pretty uh, 
there's no like extra component or anything so like most games this one's just going to get a zero there there's only a few games that get anything on that one uh, but I think the most points you can get on the other category anyway like 2.5 so you're not gonna you're not losing a whole lot okay um, replayability tightness of the game uh, this is the um, how close is it is it if, if people are equally good man this is a good tight game uh, I feel like every game is different you know you never know what everybody's gonna go for what cards you're gonna get in your hand what's gonna be the best way to manage your market uh, I think it's easily the best market driven game on uh, in the board game arena in my opinion um, the length is great I have never played a game that I felt was too long or too short it was just brass is great all the way through in my opinion um, I love playing this game constantly want to get it to the table uh, it is um, I could play it over and over again I feel like the strategies are balanced I honestly haven't played the game enough to know for sure I've tried different strategies and usually when I play now I just try to go after a different strategy but I don't think I'm the best at each strategy so my gameplay is not developed to the point where I could fully execute every strategy 100% but I I do I would say that um, it is balanced or it seems to be balanced very well um, can you adapt in game I think that's one of the greatness great pieces of the game is the ability to adapt to whatever the market gives you during the game and uh, giving you some options to play with and then you have the ability to get those wild cards which while you waste a turn doing that it is still a, a good way to stay uh, ahead of the game um, and and to keep uh, uh, to be to be more adaptable so I thought that was a good uh, a neat part of the game uh, it does take a lot of thought uh, between turns and on turns and let's see uh, R and D uh, there's not how much is randomness effect you know I probably have to give that a little ding because the cards can make you have to go get a wild and maybe somebody who draws cards that they never have to take that action because they just got luck of the draw that could be an impact an influence on the game I don't know how much but I think it could be something in a highly competitive game so I'll take it to I'll give it a ding on that um, social or action impact that's full points collaboration full points I mean you have to pay attention to what other people are doing and you have to work with other people uh, positively or negatively to win the game so I think that's a, a good one uh, ease of play how hard is this to teach I think for the complexity and depth of the game it wasn't that hard to teach I mean people got it pretty quickly and you either like the game or you don't and I think everything the, the symbols are intuitive uh, the mechanics are very easy to understand the rule book is pretty good there was a couple of things in the rules that didn't stand out to me that like you can deliver more than one good with a delivery action I it I, that was something I came across later so there's some minutia to the rules I'd probably say it's uh, it gets a ding for intuitiveness uh, maybe half points for that uh, rules might get a ding but teaching it isn't that hard and setup setup takes how much time does it take to set up I have to set out the boards really getting all those um, pieces on the player boards takes a minute if uh, players know what they're doing I probably give it three quarters on setup um, definitely generates good conversation during the game and you definitely get a sense of progression as you move through your board so I got to give uh, that broad scope very good uh, originality um, 
is, uh, I mean, it came out, I can't remember what year it came out, 2018, 2019. Uh, what's my rubric here? So very well thought out interactions using established mechanisms. It pretty much uses established mechanisms. I don't know that it brought anything terribly new to the table. Um, but uh, I think it's pretty well established and upgrades. I don't have upgrades, but this is a weighted category. Uh, if I did upgrade something, I, I might I'd go up, but this could, this is like bonus here. Uh, so there we go. Um, why is my oh, I forgot thematics. Uh, rules and art, the story ties in the simulation. You know, are you delivering? What are you doing? You're just uh, you're 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 building, but you're not really building. I get poor quarter points. There's no uh, real simulation in the game. Um, that's a pretty pretty rare uh, deal. And we get a score. Ooh, that's good. That, actually, I was afraid because I was digging some of the things that I thought were truly uh, should be taken off in the game. A ninety point three. Uh, which what I do is I'll type in uh, 9.03 and when I go to BGA uh, for my rating what I will do is brass Birmingham I'll go in here and I will update my rating um, Where's my rating? Actually, I need to go to my collection. And because overall it's rated an 8.7, which that's that seems pretty, pretty good. Um, I rated it. I had it a 9.3, but I'm going to say 9.03, which seems like, oh, you're dinging, you're you're driving your game down. But I feel like with this matrix, it's going to actually land things in more appropriate uh, ratings uh, when because I have expanded how things are are rated in the game so uh, that is my hope at least and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how that works out Let's see if I can whoops where is it nope oh it's over here boom so here we are but yeah, um, let me know what you think uh, if you watch this. Do you feel like that's a, a fair rating uh, for Brass Birmingham, a 90.3 out of 100? Would you change something? Do you feel like the, I, did, I, I did these categories appropriately and that they ended up triggering the appropriate score? Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, simulation, I could have given zero. Uh, possibly because I don't know that it simulates anything in real life although there's a little bit of a market simulation where you're balancing the market and your money so I think there's a tad of simulation but maybe that should have been half points um, if I had done half points for that it's a 90.8 so it's not going to drive it that much more but I, I feel good about my quarter points because um, not many games actually simulate much in real life so that is fair uh, there's also room to weight some of these, so uh, I could weight some of these scores differently. One of the things that crossed my mind is like, well, I don't have upgrades for this. And I know upgrades is weighted so that half points is actually not taking anything off the score, and three-quarter and full points actually add to the score. So technically, if you had all 100, it would go over 100, but that never happens. And I, there was another category in here, originality. I was like, you know, originality maybe should be weighted so that, you know, three quarter points is actually a zero, uh, and then full points adds to the score, and then the others would actually take away. Um, so I may do that and see what comes up. But thanks for joining me at Unrivaled Game Thoughts. Let me know what you think. And until the next rating video, have a great day.